Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I posted a video. I'm so sorry. I've been so busy lately with work and I quit one of my jobs so now I'm only working one so now I'll have more time to film. So that's one. Second, I hope you guys had a wonderful New Year's. I for sure know I did. Sorry if you can see you like my lights in the back. So for today's video, I want to shout off the new year kind of with a fresh start. I'm sorry about my appearance. I did just come back from work, so I'm filming right after. I wanted to do a makeup declutter. It's been a while since I've done this, and I think it's real needed, and I do need to get rid of some stuff and like just donate or just give to friends, find new homes for it. Maybe some of these makeup items will have better use with someone else. So if you guys want to see this makeup declutter, then just keep on watching. So we can go ahead. I do have you guys on a tripod. Sorry, just ignore my iPad. But it's been a while since I've showed you the top portion of my vanity. I did switch out this middle section. I just decided to put my jewelry in here and my lashes. I just find it easier and more What's the word I'm looking for? Like practical and it just looks really pretty here having my jewelry displayed and it's easier for me to grab and just pull whatever I want. So I did that. So we're going to start on this side first. So we have all of my Huda Beauty and Artist Couture palettes. To be quite honest with you guys, I don't, yeah, I'm not even lie. I'm going to go ahead and keep this drawer as is. And sorry, I have Cheeto fingers. I love hot Cheetos. I was just eating some. So anyways, I'm going to keep this drawer as is. I absolutely love every single palette in here and I do use them. So this is actually going to stay the same. Now for this drawer, I definitely have to take out some stuff. So I'm going to keep my one size beauty primer for sure. This is pretty brand new still. So this is going to stay... I've been using the Rare Beauty, the Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer, so that's staying. Um, I don't use this as much. This is the Illumine Primer. I think I'm just gonna declutter this, so this is gonna go in the declutter pile. This is staying. It's still really good. I use it all the time. Um, definitely keeping this. Oops. I'll pick that up later. Okay, so I've had this for a while, and I do use it quite a bit. It doesn't smell bad or anything, so I think I'm just going to keep this. Definitely keeping my L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. This is the only one I have left. Glitter glue, a must. I'm keeping this. My right brightener. Same with my Becca. Obviously my Mario Master Pigment Manipulator. Um, always need and then okay so I'm so torn because I feel like I might want to use this but I know I'm not I think I'm just gonna go ahead and declare the rare beauty eyeshadow primer I don't really find use for it I typically use my concealer or my P Louise eyeshadow base as eyeshadow primer so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter my rare beauty and keeping P Louise all right, obviously I'm keeping this. Oh, Sousy concealers. All right, so I'm gonna speed through these and then I will show you which ones I'm keeping. Let's stop for a moment. So this, I liked it at first and then Marc Jacobs, Mar Jacobs just completely reformulated everything so I think this is no longer available and I did see it at TJ Maxx at one point so I mean it's still a good concealer but I really didn't find myself gravitating towards it as much so I'm gonna declutter that. Definitely gonna declutter this. I totally dislike this so much. I found no use for it. It's too thick for under my eyes. I honestly did not like this. And I think my CoverGirl concealer is actually kind of old, so I need to toss this. I loved my e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer, but I also believe that this is pretty old. I've had it for a while now. So I think I'm just going to toss this. 
And then my Rare Beauty Concealer. Um, yeah, I didn't find use for this. It's pretty good. I didn't really like it that much, so this is going to be decluttered too. All right, so these are the things that are going to stay. Obviously, this is staying. I do use this a lot in the mornings. This is a Jaclyn Hill under eye hydrating eye primer. Okay, I think I did do a pretty good job here. I still have a lot of concealers, which not everyone needs these concealers, but I definitely like these. So I have my Anastasia, Pemograph, of course my Dior, my two Lancome, my NARS Pop Concealer, my Fenty, and my Maybelline Superstay. Tarte. My L'Oreal More Magic Perfecting Base. Primers, under eye brighteners, and mixers, lip balm, and other primers here. All right, this drawer's done. We can move on to the next. All right, so I don't know how many things I'm gonna be able to declutter from this, honestly. This is still pretty brand new, so let me go ahead and decide which ones I want, and I'll go over the ones I'm keeping. The next thing I'm going to declutter is the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. Um, this is a good apple. I only got this because of TikTok and honestly, oops, sorry. I honestly did not like this foundation at all. Within like two hours, it was already breaking up on my skin and I just looked like a grease ball. So this one, this one definitely has to go. And then this mixing medium, I definitely don't need anymore. I used it for like a Halloween look and I just never touched it ever since. So this can go too. And then I feel really bad because this is practically brand new and I only used it like once or maybe twice. This was just too heavy for my skin. Something that I'm not going to wear every day or not even on a special occasion. It was just too cakey on my skin. So this one's going to be decluttered. And I'm in between. This is a really good foundation and I love it. It actually looks really beautiful on the skin. But... It's not in my correct shade, and I don't touch it because of that. So, I think I might just buy another one and get my right shade. So, I might just go ahead and declutter this. Alright, and the foundations I'm keeping, I will lay them out for you. Alright, so these are the foundations I'm keeping. I have my Makeup Forever foundations, which I actually use this on my wedding day. It has, it has a bunch of foundation colors in here, and I mixed a couple for my perfect shade, and I can get rid of this. This is such a good palette, especially when I do other people's makeup. And this is a press powder for Makeup Forever. I, sometimes I like to use it to set my makeup. Obviously, my Lumis Silk, Pat McGrath, Double Wear, One Size Beauty Foundation Powder, Infallible by L'Oreal, Born This Way. I love this foundation when I'm tan. It's super beautiful. I need to get it in my lighter shade. And then my Elf CC Cream, Maybelline Super Stay Active Wear, Dior, Rare Beauty, and Fenty. So those are staying. Again, I don't need these many foundations, but I do tend to rotate them a lot. So just because I don't show them a lot on camera, I do use them in my everyday life. So this was done. Kind of proud of myself. I already have a little bit of a pile. I'll show you guys at the end. Okay, so this is going to be super hard. So here are my bronzers and powders. Everything's all over the place. I'm sorry, it's not neatly organized. <sighs> okay, so let me go through them and then I'll show you which ones I'm keeping and which ones I'm getting rid of.
All right, so I have to admit I did really bad in this category just because I love bronzers. I'm sure I'm gonna be like that with the blush, the blushes too, so I'm sorry. But I am gonna go ahead and just declutter my Fenty Beauty matchstick, which is the bronzer stick in a shade Suede. I don't use this. I did at one point, but it's just too hard to blend out and I don't think I've ever used this in a tutorial. It's just, I just haven't been a, a fan of it. And then my NYX HD finishing powder. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and declutter and see if anyone wants this too. It's basically brand new. I used it a couple of times, but it's okay. I prefer my other, my Maybelline over this 1000%. <sighs> I feel so sad, but I think I am gonna go ahead and declutter my Marc Jacobs Fantastic Glow Omega 3. I love this bronzer and blush trio and highlighter trio, but honestly, I barely touch it and I feel like someone else might have good use for it. It's still a really good bronzer and it's super pretty. The only reason why I still want to keep it is just because of the packaging. It's just so gorgeous. It just reminds me of coffee. If you guys know I'm Colombian and I love coffee and Oh my gosh. You know what? This might stay in the maybe pile, so we'll see. And I do have to part ways with my Olimar Cosmetics Brighten and Bronze Complexion Trio. I've used this to the ground. This middle shade, it was just perfect. And then this one, I used occasionally, and then I never touched this shade. I think it's just time to let this one go. I feel like I found other bronzers that I've liked, so... I can definitely part ways with this one. Still a good product though. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and show you very quickly which ones I'm keeping. This one is a staple, has to stay. I feel like it's also be useful for videos. Also, actually I might declutter this too. This is the e.l.f. bronzer. I definitely don't use this as much as I thought I would. So this one's actually gonna go. Now that I'm looking at it. And did you guys think I was gonna get rid of these? Never. I love these things. So these are staying in my collection. And I do like this palette too, so this is staying as well. My Jaclyn Bronzer and Blush Duo. This is also staying. I have used this to the ground too. There's a dent in it now. Patrick Ta has to stay. Now for single powder bronzers, which I thought I had more, but I guess I didn't. I just, I think I just have it more in palettes than I do in singles. So, this definitely has to stay as a Gucci bronzer, which was pretty pricey, but you know, it's staying in my collection. Also, don't mind my nails, guys, sorry. I was trying to take off my gel manicure, and yeah, it was a disaster. LYS bronzer, that is staying, which I kind of broke on accident, if you guys can see that. Fenty, tried and true, but I think this one's almost gonna kick the bucket soon, so I do have to use this one up before it does. Now for cream bronzers, obviously my Huda Beauty, stain. My e.l.f. Putty bronzer, still a really good bronzer, that's stain. My Makeup Amara bronzer, does that fit in there? No. This one's stain, super good. Now compact powders. My It Bye Bye Pores and my Maybelline Fit Me. These are staying. And my Charlotte Tilbury powder is staying. I also have it in the mini size, which in a different color. So that's staying. It's going with the bigger one. Was contemplating if I wanted to keep this one too. Um, I think since I got one of the Alamar one, I'm just going to keep it just for this banana shade in here. So. This can stay. Okay guys, I'm so bad. Don't yell at me, but I'm basically not getting rid of any setting powders. 
tried and true Huda Beauty stain. One size beauty stain. Um, Urban Decay. This one's really good too. Laura Mercier. I just don't know when I might need it, you know, so I have to keep it. My Jaclyn Hill, which I've been actually using quite a bit lately. My Hourglass Veil, which I don't use a lot on camera, honestly. Don't know why I don't. My Maybelline Lasting Fix. This is really good. I do also want to get the Maybelline version of this one, which is the Matte and Poreless, but in powder form. This one, that one in the powder form is really good too, so I'm going to get that. And then this is a mini. Of course I have to keep it. Okay, so that's it for bronzers. Now for blushes, guys. I really don't want to get rid of none, but I know I'm going to have to, so let's just do it. Alright, so I've decided to declutter the Charlotte Tilbury Chic to Chic Pillow Talk Blush. This is a very, very beautiful blush, but I honestly, I don't use it. And there's no reason for me to keep it. I want it just because it's Charlotte Tilbury, but I know I shouldn't be that way, so I definitely need to declutter and find a new home for it. My Milk Makeup, this was like a blush stick. I used to use it a lot, now I don't, so this one's actually gonna be decluttered too. My Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush. I find I use my other liquid blushes more than this one, so I'm decluttering this. And I'm also gonna go ahead and declutter my Jouer Adore Blush Duo. I don't think they make these anymore, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just Get rid of this one too, see if anyone else wants it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is put my cream blushes in front. So I'm keeping e.l.f. Putty Blush. My Melt Sandy Cheeks Blush. My LYS Blush. And my Milani. And then my liquid blushes or cream blushes are going to go in the back. So these are staying. Rare Beauty and Jacqueline. Oh my gosh, I'm missing a blush down here. My Rare Beauty blush. I'm actually going to keep this one too. This is a cream. So that's staying. Now my Pat McGrath is going here. And then NARS. I have to keep these. These are just iconic. The NARS Orgasm Blush, which has a dent in it too because I've used it a lot. And then I have this little mini one. This one's staying too. So these are going to go back here. And sorry guys if y'all also see, hear me sniffling a lot. I'm just battling a cold right now. So my Audis Couture Blushes that came out for spring, these are definitely staying. I used these today. And they are gorgeous. My Master Blush Palette Stain too. Super pretty blush palette too. Patrick Top. My two e.l.f. bite size blushes. Actually, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter the shade White Peach. I don't use this one a ton. I use this one more, so. I'm staying with my Buxom blush. And then obviously my Viva stain. Can't wait to use that for the spring summertime. Hourglass. My elf blushes are staying. These are really good blushes. And then we're down to blush palettes. So I am keeping, I debated on it, but I am keeping this one. Um I just don't use it a ton, but I definitely need to. It's gorgeous. And I can't get rid of my Vanilla Peach Truffle Palette. This is absolutely beautiful. And I used to use it a ton. Which I still kind of do, but not as much now. Because I'm always trying new stuff. But this one's staying. 
you guys, obviously the reason I don't even use that one is because I use these all the time. So obviously these guys are staying. Patrick Toffer Face Blush Palette and my Jaclyn Hill Rouge Romance Blush Palettes are staying. And the powder blush. Okay, I think I did pretty good with this drawer. I, I thought I wasn't gonna get rid of anything, but you know, I surprised myself. Now, this is the highlighter drawer. All right, I try to zoom you into this drawer as much as possible. All right, so I don't know what's gonna happen here. I love highlight. So I have my Anastasia Almrezy highlighter and it's getting cracked. I use this once in a while and it's so old, you guys. I think I honestly keep it just because it was one of my first like really big highlighter purchase and it was all the rage back in the day, but I think I might have to toss this one. And it's also really old. This one, I'm obviously keeping. This is the Wet n Wild Hello Halo. This is staying. Let me just take them out really quick. Okay, so I am getting rid of three highlights. My e.l.f. highlighter, the Glow Gleam Beam palette. I thought I was going to use this a ton, but I don't. If you guys have this palette, it's still a really gorgeous palette, but it's something that I don't really gravitate towards. And a lot of people were going crazy over this highlighter right here, the Essence Nude highlighter, but honestly, I didn't really like it, and obviously I talked about the Amrezy, so those three are going. These are the ones I'm keeping. My Vive. Which doesn't fit there. Alright guys, these highlights are not for the faint of heart. These is the, the loose highlighters for Jaclyn and Artist Couture. These do punch a pack on your face, so I'm keeping these for sure. Charlotte Tilbury is staying and my beef. And I have to keep this one. This one's just absolutely gorgeous. This is the Huda Beauty All Over Highlighter. And then I do have the Flawless Filter Highlighter and then my Rare. And lastly, I have the Loose Highlighter, the bigger one that you can set your face with, and then my Dior. All right, so I'm gonna move you guys to the other side. All right, guys, we started with eyeshadow palettes now. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. So, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep my Marc Jacobs palettes. These are very dear to me and I, they have to stay. <sighs> Charlotte Tilbury, I love them both. These are staying. Dose of colors. Okay, so I have the Carly Bible palette. Super gorgeous, but I don't use it as often. And I feel like I can find a better home for it, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter this one. My Modern Renaissance, you guys, look how beat up this palette is. I think I do have to toss this one. It's pretty old and kind of nasty, actually, so. This one has to go. I might just repurchase another one. My Soft Glam. This is Stain. My Jackie Ina palette. Which I also don't use a ton. And it was also limited edition. So I think I'm just going to declare this palette. 
and Nervina. <sighs> also think I'm gonna declutter it. Don't use it a ton. Now, I'm not sure about this palette. It's very beautiful and I've used it in the tutorials. Actually, I'm just gonna keep it just for reference, just in case. So yeah, this is staying, this is staying. And then these are obviously staying. All of my Mario palettes are staying. I love these to death. I use them actually all the time and this is a quad that I got. This one's staying. So these are the ones I'm actually gonna try and find a home for, except for this one. We made it through that one. So now we have liquid shadows, pigments, glitters, mascaras, eyebrow stuff. So let's go ahead and start with this bin first. I'm keeping my Patrick Paul mascara. I actually gonna think I'm gonna declutter this one. It dried up really fast. So did my e.l.f., which I think I'm gonna go ahead and repurchase. But just keep in mind, if you guys did get this mascara, let me know if it did dry out on you guys really fast. I do close it pretty tightly. Don't get me started on this mascara. Honestly, the Bambi, horrible, horrible, horrible. And once your big is staying, the mini and the big. I don't use this one either, so this can go. My big papa. Definitely was not a good mascara either. This one's pretty dried out. So it's this one and this one. This one's staying. And then my eyelash glues, so that's staying. So actually, pretty proud of myself. I'm getting rid of all these mascaras. Oops. I honestly don't understand the hype out of this brow freeze. I don't know why everyone likes it. It just turned my eyebrow hairs like white. Definitely not for me. If this actually works for you guys, I'm sorry, but for me it didn't work out. That's going. Ooh, this one's really good. This is staying. Pomade, this is staying. My NYX brow glue is staying. This is for my palette. My Makeup Revolution, this is leaving too, just because I didn't like it either. It performed just kind of like the Anastasia one. Eyelash Curl Stain. This is really good too. This did nothing for me. It just felt wet on my eyebrows, didn't do anything. Another mini eyelash glue. And then I use this just because I have it. So I guess this is gonna stay. So this is a brow side. Guys, I'm really proud of myself. Look at this. This looks so much better. I'm happy with this. Okay, all my Jacqueline pots are staying. And my Otters Couture. Chris Pigments, my ColourPop are staying, and my Victoria Beckham. I think I am going to declutter these though, just because they are pretty old and they don't perform as well anymore. I use these a lot, so these are staying. And my Elf is staying. Otters Couture. This actually can go. I tried it. This is the NYX Foil Play. Pigments didn't work out for me, so this is staying. I mean, going. I think lip products I'll go into depth with it some other time. I like declutter them in a different video because I'll take this video. This video will be a million years long if I do this drawer too. So we're going back to palettes now. Oh, this one's gonna be crazy. So I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter my new classics palette from e.l.f. My e.l.f. retrograde palette, I did a video on it a while back. 
I haven't touched this since that video, so I think I can find a new home for it. There are such good palettes too. My Elf Times Jake Cusa palette. This one's staying just because it has my dog's name on it, so, and my other one that passed away. So this one's staying. This palette can go, I can find a new home for it. I never really used it. My Melt palette staying. My Rare Beauty palettes are staying. My Wired palette though, I think I'm gonna go ahead and find a new palette, new home for it too. Don't really use that one as often. Oh my gosh guys, do you remember this palette? This is the Sweet Peach palette. This is so old. It still kinda smells like peaches. I might find a new home for it or just throw it away. Oh, my Supreme palettes from Otis Couture. These are definitely staying. Those are not going anywhere. My Ultimate Edit palette from NYX. I think that one in my declutter. My KKW. This is the only palette I have from her. And I actually really like this palette, so it's going to stay. My Elf Man Eater. Mm, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and declare this one. This one's also staying. My Juvia's Place palettes are staying. So is my Madison Beer palette. I actually have used it a ton. The ones I'm gonna have a hard time decluttering. I'm definitely keeping my avocado toast palette from BH Cosmetics. My Colourpop palette, my Reina de Cariba palette staying. I have Forsyth by Rob Christie, Rob B. Christie. And I can't seem to get rid of these palettes here. I feel like one day I might need to use them in a video, so I think I'm gonna keep those. I have my Alasari Times Doza Colors. I don't know, I tried using this the other day and honestly, didn't perform as well or I just didn't have the patience to deal with it, so actually I think I'm gonna keep this one. All right guys, sorry, I had to take you off my tripod. My Natasha Donana Polish or Staying. So it's my Jacqueline, my Pat McGrath palettes are staying. This is a new palette my sister got me for Christmas. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video on this palette. It's super pretty. It's the Sigma Untamed palette. I actually haven't heard of this palette. I don't know if it's brand new or not. But let me know in the comment section below. Uh, my Fenty Beauty eyeshadow little quad. Super cute. This one's staying. I love my naked palettes. So these are actually staying. And then my Vive are staying. Patrick Ta, obviously. Oh man. This one's iconic. The Tati Beauty eyeshadow palette. This definitely has to stay. And then in the back, I have my Jacqueline Cosmetics palette and my Morphe 35S palette, Sweet Oasis palette. Those are staying, so let me go ahead and put these back really quick. All right, guys, I think I did a pretty good clean out. I am getting rid of from from like here down. So these pots are leaving. And so it's this, these pile. Hopefully I can find a better home for them. All right, you guys, so this completes this makeup declutter. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, you want me to do another makeup declutter, maybe next year, I'll probably do this like once a year or twice a year, depending on how fast my makeup collection grows. 
So let me know if you like this video. I know it was kind of random, but I feel like this needed to happen. I'm only one person and I know a lot of people might find use out of these products. So if I can find good homes for them, I definitely will share the love with this collection. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm so happy to be back. I promise I'll be posting regularly now. I'm sorry I was gone for such a long time, but now I'm back. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.